hey guys we shall take a few more examples on finding step response uh, let h of n is equal to minus minus 1 power n uh, this this is one signal times u of n plus 2 minus u of n minus 3 okay so how does this signal looks like uh, this is nothing but a rectangular pulse multiplied with this sequence uh, we shall plot this first so what is u of n plus 2 minus u of n minus 3 look like so nothing but it start from minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 right and set 2 correct no how is this u of n plus 2 is what u of n shifted left 2 time we will start from minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 goes on this is u of n plus 2 right and how does u of n minus 3 looks like u of n shifted right 3 times so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 this amplitude is 1 this amplitude is 1 right so this is minus 1 minus 2 if I subtract these two signals what happens 1, mi 1 minus 0 is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 at minus 2 it is 1 at minus 1 it is 1 at 0 it is 1 at 1 it is 1 at 2 it is 1 so at 3 it, it goes to 0 right 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 and this is 0 forever right so this is u of n plus 2 minus u of n minus 3 so this rectangular signal is multiplied with minus 1 power n right and how does minus 1 power n looks like so when n equal to 0 minus 1 power 0 is 1 at n equal to 0 minus 1 power 0 is 1 at n equal to 1 minus 1 power 1 is minus 1 at n equal to 2 minus 1 square is 2 so every odd number of n odd values of n it is minus 1 every even values of n it is 1 ok so this is minus 1 this is 1 this is minus 1 1 minus 1 1 and it goes forever right so 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so when this is multiplied with this so 1 multiplied with this signal so I get this signal for n varying from minus 2 to 2 right so what do we get as h of n so h of n is nothing but from minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 so it is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 ok so this is a uh, sketch of impulse response h of n so what is the next step so i just have to replace this n to k because we have to write in terms of k right so what is the formula uh, before that uh, we don't have to write the formula we can directly say that at say at n equal to uh, minus 2 what is the running sum it is 1 at n equal to minus 1 what is the running sum it is plus 1 minus 1 it is 0 right so at n equal to minus 2 s of minus 2 is what 1 at n equal to minus 1 at n equal to minus 1 s of minus 1 is equal to what 1 minus 1 0 at n equal to 0 what is the running sum 1 minus 1 plus 1 so it is equal to 1 at n equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 so it is 0 at n equal to 2 so it is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 so these two these two cancel out I end up with 1 so after 2 s of 3 s of 4 uh, dot 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 so it remains 1 okay so this is this is the step response so s of n is equal to what i can write like this 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 dot 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 so where is my 0 so this is at n equal to 0 so this is the step response of the system h of n something like this okay so we'll take up one more Uh, this time we will have h of n is equal to n times u of n ok so how does this uh, sequence looks like so at n equal to 0 it is 0 times u of uh, 1 it is 0 at n equal to 1 1 at n equal to 2 it is 2 at n equal to 3 it is 3 at n equal to 4 so it is 4 it goes on so 1 2 3 4 till infinity it goes on ok this is our n this is h of n fine so it does not take minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 why because I have u of n here right so if now what do we do so solution so this is uh, uh, impulse response looks like if I try to plot this now I have to replace n by k I will do that I will do it here 
right now uh, just to give you an idea if n is at 0 what is the running sum it is 0 right because everywhere from minus infinity till 0 it is 0 right if i put n equal to 1 here what is the running sum so this is 1 right because uh, uh, i have just one sample one here if i put n equal to 2 what is the running sum 2 plus 1 is 3 if i put n equal to 3 what is the running sum 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 6 if i put it at here what is the running sum 4 plus 3 plus 3 so it is 10 and it goes on okay so this is how the running sum looks like and we have to put it general in a general form general form okay so what is the equation s of n is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k and s of n is equal to summation from where our signal starts it is 1 so k is equal to 1 to n depending upon where i keep the 10 and h of k if h of n is n times u of n what is h of k it is k times u of k but anyhow u of k it is 1 so i don't write u of k instead of you writing u of k i'll substitute it as 1 so this is k okay why this is not n because i have to write it in terms of k right this is h i this is h of k so i have to replace n by k fine so now i have to bring this lower limit to 0 how do we do that so take this to the left hand side k minus 1 and call it with the dummy variable m and write it in terms of k which is nothing but m minus 1 so in this summation wherever k is there you replace it by m minus 1 okay so s of n is equal to what summation m minus 1 k is m minus 1 is equal to 1 to m minus 1 so this is also k is equal to n and this is k and what is k k is m minus 1 so s of n is equal to summation so plus 1 minus 1 cancel so if i take this n to the other side this n to the other side so it is n plus 1 so m varying from 0 to n plus 1 m minus 1 so s of n is equal to uh, so i can split this summation m varying from 0 to n plus 1 m okay i'm sorry if i take this minus 1 to the other side it is m plus 1 right okay so this is m plus 1 if i take this plus 1 to the other side 1 minus 1 it is 0 this is m plus 1 okay summation m varying from 0 to this is m plus 1 this is m plus 1 so i did a mistake there okay so m plus 1 so so this summation goes to m and this summation goes to 1 all felt right so this plus one more summation summation m varying from 0 to n plus 1 1 okay summation multiplied to m summation multiplied to 1 so s of n is equal to what is this n into n minus 1 by 2 right this is the standard result right summation m varying from 0 to n plus 1 m is nothing but which is plus 1 which is plus this plus 1 goes to the other side this is minus 1 now n minus 1 n minus 1 yes now it is clear so n minus 1 m is what n into n minus 1 by 2 so this is the standard result we have if say n is equal to 2 what is this actually 0 plus 1 right if n is equal to 5 what is this 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and it goes on right so it is nothing but that's what i have substituted here plus summation n varying from 0 to n 1 is what n minus 1 so I can write it as this entire thing minus 1. So what is this entire thing here? n plus 1 minus 1, right? So n plus 1, this entire thing is n minus 1, right? So s of n is equal to what? n into n minus 1 by 2 plus n. So if I simplify this, if I multiply numerator and denominator by 2, so s of n is what? n into n minus 1 by 2 plus the whole thing by 2, so plus 2n. Right, so this is nothing but n into n square minus n plus 2n by 2. So this is nothing but 2n plus n is n. So n square plus n by 2. Okay, so we can cross circuit. When when n equal to 1, what is the running sum? 1, right? So 1 square plus 1, it is 2, 2 by 2 is when n is when n equal when n equal to 2 what is the running sum 2 plus 1 is 3 right so 2 square it is 2 to the 4 plus 2 uh, by 2 
this is nothing 4 plus 2 is 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 so 2 plus 1 is 3